This is the grade six math practice test for T and ready. Question currently number 15. A pinwheel's four blades are all congruent. Here's that. Right trapezoids. What is the combined area of the four blades in square inches? The nice thing is there's four of them, so we know we'll have this one. I know these are not the same. Just lie to yourself, please. Thank you. Writing with this pen thing is not easy, and I'm trying to do this without spending 6,000 hours on it making it look nice. Okay, these are terribly drawn, but we're all going to lie to ourselves and pretend they're the same. Okay. Now I have to figure out what the sets are for each one. This line shows that from one end to the other, it's two inches. So from here to here, that's two. These show me that the bottom, the big longer end, is four. So this set here. And then the top from here to here is two as well. How do I find the area? Now, there are, there's certainly an area formula for trapezoid, but if you don't memorize it, that's okay. I've done algebra, or sorry, I've done this kind of geometry for years and years and years, and I still don't have all the formulas memorized because I don't need to memorize them. Any, almost every area formula is based in some way off of the area of a rectangle, which is length times width. And instead of calling it length times width, maybe I'll call it base times height. The only difference between this trapezoid, since it's a right trapezoid, and this rectangle is the sides are a little different. So in essence, if I push this part out to make this go here, I just push this in to balance it. So I take my original triangle, or sort of my original rectangle, and I just push this in until I get something that sort of goes like this. And as I do that, it pulls this part out to balance just because they'll even each other out a little bit. So then I end up with this. So all I'm going to say is if I could figure out how much I had to move on average, that'll make the top and the bottom. So instead of saying, let me do this and some other thing, base one plus base two, I don't bother with that. I just do the average of the bases. So when I put base here, I'm going to do the average of bases. And my height is the same. So my height value is 2. To average the bases, this one and this one, I just add them up, divide by 2. So that's how you do averaging. If you make an 80 on a test and 100, you add them together and get 180, divide by 2 and get 90. Well, I have two base lengths, so I'm just going to average them. 4 plus 2, divide by 2. And then I'm going to multiply by the height. 4 plus 2, last time I checked, was 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 3 times 2 is 6. That's the area of 1 trapezoid. So I'm going to put a big giant 6 in here. I may even do it a different color. And then I'm going to put a 6 here. And then I'm going to put a 6 here. And then I'm going to put a 6 here. And then I'm going to add them up. 12, 18, 24. So the answer to number 15 is R. Why in the world would I draw those pictures? Would I draw those pictures if I was taking the test? It depends on the amount of time. I would probably put some level of effort into sketching out something here just to remind myself that I'm measuring the area of all four blades and not just one blade. That would be a problem. So instead of, they were kind of nice about it because they didn't give you six as an answer choice. But when you take the actual test, they very well might because that's what they like to do. They like to give you questions that have distractor answers in them. So you'll choose them, and then you'll miss it, even though conceptually you understand what you're supposed to do. But when they told me to do four blades, if they said four triangles, I would have drawn four triangles. When I found the area for each one, I put the area in each side just to remind myself to add it up. Again, this type of test is not difficult per se, but it is easy to make a lot of little mistakes that make you look like you don't know what you're doing. So putting some little sketch over here to make sure you don't miss any of them is a great idea. And would I write this out? Absolutely. I don't know if I'd write this step. I'd probably, I was just making a point there. Um, but I would definitely do, for basically any shape, base times height, like a triangle, for instance, it's base times height as well. It's just since I'm doing half of a rectangle, 
see how this half of a rectangle is actually a triangle? I would just put the half in front. So I always start out with this as my uh, base time side is where I start to do any area. But I would write this out. I would probably write this out, and then I would definitely write this. So if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to do this, this, and this. doesn't take that long to write it out. It doesn't make you look... Um, like you don't know what you're doing, it actually makes it look like you're trying to be careful, which is what you want to do if you want to score well on this thing. So there you go.